Today we'll be checking out Risley's signature weapon, talking about it itself and seeing if it's good for anyone else. As usual though, we gotta start with raising it. I think we definitely will have some farming to do today. Also, I think I'm one day too late. I don't think the weapon materials are even open. Yes, indeed, they were open Wednesday, whoops. Okay, well, let's see how far we can get it anyway. We do have a decent amount of the blue goblets, but as you can see, we're already missing transoceanic pearls. Let's go swimming. I mean, to be fair, they're definitely not as bad as like the specters. I never actually defeated one of these giant crabs. I wonder if he'll give me extra. Okay, I don't think it's even possible to kill him. I'm doing basically no damage. Oh wait, there we go. We did just hit some sort of weak spot. Maybe that water current has something to do with it. Oh wait, why does he have a shield now? Oh, okay. And what did this big, big dude drop? <laughs> two, two, two grays. Alrighty, that wasn't worth it. We do have enough for the second star, so let's go ahead. Auto add to 50. Got enough for the third star also. Now we need 10 greens. I am pretty sure we don't have enough grays, so we're just gonna continue on for a bit. Why did they put these enemies in the game? I know I can get the materials I need from them, but I can't do it, man. I think we should have enough for the next star. If we get a sucrose bonus, we got one bonus, okay. Yep, that's definitely enough for the next star. I think we'll need uh, three star mats for everything past this, so I wouldn't mind continue farming if we actually had the goblets, but also gotta check if we got enough of these, but I don't think so. I didn't farm them yet today, so we'll see. We should be safe to make all the purples, and we can make 19. That's not gonna be enough for uh, the last star for sure. I think we need like 27 or something. The goblets, we need purples. Let's see how Risley treats us for goblet bonus. Zero, but it was only five, so I'll give you a pass. We gotta get a Risley bonus for eight though. Come on, Risley. One bonus. Okay, not very nice. I see how it is. So somehow we can actually get it to the second to last star and there's level 80. We are unfortunately pretty much screwed for the last star though, just because of the goblets. Well, the only other thing I can really do today is uh, farm the Fatui operatives for uh, these materials we'll need. Got a purple, no perp, no perp. Yes, no, no, yes, no. And that was it again. We're only missing one of these now, so that was super easy. These won't be that big of a deal, but yeah, unfortunately we just can't do anything for two days, so be back then. So, it is Saturday. Let's continue. Hello, Bones. We only need one purple mat from the operative, so going to knock that out of the way first. That was close. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a purple, so one more. Still no purple, but we should have enough. And there was a purple anyway. Now we are heading to the domain to get the materials we waited till Saturday to get. 33 seconds, I'm sure we can beat that. We're probably just gonna dump the five condensed resin we have and see where we're at. We already got two purples here. Yeah, Bones using the wonder speed hacks. Oh yeah, that'll be an insane time right there. <laughs> 24, let's go. I don't know if we can beat that. We would need to actually get to the starting point faster somehow. Yeah, th this will be an insane one. Maybe even less than 24. No, 24. Jesus Christ. I think that's the lowest time I've ever had in any domain. Uh, I think that one was really slow. Actually, 26. Wasting so much time. All right, last run here. No raw gold yet. Oh, maybe a 23. Ah, uh, if that dude would have died a little faster. 24 still, yeah. And there's last run. Let's see if we have enough. We probably do. We only needed four golds. Risley bonus? Two bonus, not bad, not bad. Risley bonus? Two more bonus, definitely not bad. And we can make seven golds, so we have plenty. We're just gonna make the four we need for now. Let's make totally sure we're good. Yes, we're good on goblets, we're good on operatives. Now comes the annoying part. 16 of these things. Time for crabs. All right, we're gonna be heading underwater now. Not really gonna use the map or anything, just going to go underwater somewhere and kill everything that moves, besides the seals, of course. I can't say the same thing about bones. Uh, the heck, bones? No, bo- no, don't- no! Stay away from the sea- yes. These guys are kinda cute too. Not cute enough though, sorry. I mean, even the crabs are just chilling and minding their own business. Why couldn't they make the enemies like more aggressive? What the heck is this thing? Oh, a clipped crab. Really takes you out of the immersion and makes you realize you're not actually killing seals. I mean, it looks like these guys are trying to kill each other anyway, so. Oh, this one's hiding behind some tree branches. No, I can't start also feeling bad for the crabs. Like, I won't ever get the materials I need. 
<laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Bones heard me sneeze from the next room. Yeah, so we have been farming for almost half an hour now. We're gonna see if we have enough. This might be enough. If we get at least one bonus, let's see. Yes, indeed, we have enough now. We can finally 90 it. Final star, level 90, massive base attack, low crit rate. Still would have been cool to see crit damage instead of crit rate here, even if it was a lower amount to favor very high base attack. But yeah, talking about the passive, if the massive base attack wasn't enough, you also get another 60% attack increase here and actually quite similar to Nuvolet's weapon your HP has to increase or decrease to get the stacks which will increase your normal and charge attack damage also for a very short time only four seconds and when you have three stacks, attack speed will be increased. So yes, it is pretty similar to Nuvolet. It's just that he gets attack instead of HP, and also normal attacks are increased, unlike Nuvolet's, which is only charge attack damage. Was that? No way. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever actually heard him speak. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think Nuvolet's weapon is overall a lot more versatile than Nuvolet's, so we can talk about more characters. They do share that one common problem, though, and that's the issue that most Catalyst users don't increase or decrease their HP naturally. Nuvolet himself being the one exception, but it's not going to be a good weapon for him because Nuvolet scales with HP, and cash flow is a very attack-focused weapon, so there's that. We now have 15 different Catalyst users, and one of the ones that does stand out to me kind of immediately, I mean, is Wanderer. Wanderer does deal the majority of his damage with normal and charge attacks. Also, he does really like attack speed. It is honestly a pretty similar weapon to his bell, which is probably why Risley's second best weapon is in fact the bell here. The bell does have these stats I was hoping that the cash flow would just basically crit damage instead of crit rate. Cashflow actually does offer the same normal attack damage boost as the bell. They both can give you up to 48% normal attack damage bonus. Cashflow gives you 8% attack speed versus the 10% the Wonders bell gives. But also Cashflow increases attack by 16 and charge attack damage by 42%, which Wander does do here and there as well. Again, the biggest issue is actually keeping up the stacks with Wanderer. Maybe a Bloom team with some slow healing. Regardless, it is definitely something to consider and we'll come back to Wanderer later. Let's take a look at the others. The main criteria is that they're a damage dealer that scales with attack. No, no, not really. Although Nahida is very often in a Bloom team and probably could take advantage of it, she primarily wants EM more than attack. Hazo, again, is an attack scaler, though like the problem he had with Nuvolet's book, he gets most of his damage from Heart Supper Strike as opposed to normal and charge attacks, at least the way I was always using him. Same story with Miko, she's more of an off-field slash burst DPS, so won't really take much of an advantage from the normal and charged boost. Yinfei and Klee, I would say they're both normal slash charge attack DPSs. And one thing I didn't try, which I should have with Nuvolet's weapon, is a Bergen team. Bergen, like Bloom, will hurt you. Mona, Sucrose, Lisa, I think they're all more skill slash burst DPSs also. Barber's a healer. And Ningguang is another attack scaling normal slash charge attack DPS. But yeah, Ningguang, Yinfei, Wander, I think these are the three that could like maybe take advantage of it. If we can keep the stacks up, that's the big question here. I really don't want it to have to be like we get damaged before it starts and then do like a slow heal like with Goro or something. That's just not practical. I don't have much experience or knowledge with Wanderer to be honest and his best teams. I don't know if he's ever used in a Bloom team or anything like that but that is something I want to explore. So we're going to hand him over cash flow. As for artifacts he is currently in a not super great desert pavilion but this would be his best set. His crit ratio is all right I suppose. Would of course like more crit damage that his best provides but this is what we're going to deal with for now i mainly just want to see if it's at all feasible to you know continually get the stacks so we are going to try like a nikita yalan sort of bloom team here with wander i know with baiju's ultimate he is like periodically healing a little bit i first want to see if there's any indication about when we have all three stacks so we're going to hurt our wonder a little bit oh yeah okay we have a little icon surrounding us for those four seconds should be pretty easy to keep an eye on though. Let's go fight the uh, mechanical boss here because we need some more mats. So we're gonna start with the uh, Nahida's burst, mark him there, go to Yalan. Sure, go ahead and do that with uh, Baiju and get his burst. And then we're going to uh, hop off with Wander. And uh, ah, it's really hard to see. I know we have at least one stack. I can see that there and now it's gone, maybe. Yeah, we're not even getting any. Oh, I didn't do Yalan's burst. That's the big problem here. All right, let's try that again. 
Oh, we have a lot of blooms there. That should hurt us. Okay, there we go. Ow. Okay, that also hurt us. We did have all three stacks there at the end. I didn't, I was only trying to look at those and not pay attention to the damage numbers too much. I'm going to try without Baiju and get Faruzan in there. Like, would you really have a C6 Faruzan and not take her with Wanderer? I know we don't have any healer now, but uh, we just got to be good, you know? So let's see here. Um, Stop, please. Stop. We just got to be good, you know? Let's try that again. Uh, do we have all three stacks? Yes, we do now. What are we doing? What are we doing? That was like a 42k charged. I mean, Masonry died really fast. I don't know. Th this might be something. It's the only thing I could really think of so that we are consistently losing HP, but I am thinking maybe Singcho instead of Yelan. I would miss the damage boost she gives from Burst, but Singcho actually can heal a little bit at least and damage mitigate, so he might be the overall better choice here. All right, what are, what are we doing? Do we have all, yes, we have all three stacks currently. Not anymore. There are some blooms to give us some more stacks though. Okay, I mean, that was, I, there is something there. There is definitely something there. It probably still would be better to try and stack on more crit damage because he's like literally only at 160. I mean, I can see if there's anything I can do. I'm obviously not planning on keeping him in this weapon. It's still a little annoying to have to think about, you know, if you have those stacks every four seconds. I really didn't raise very many Desert Pavilion. I think he's already in the best I have to offer. So it does still feel a little unnatural, but like, what about a Bergen team? You know, throw a Pyro in there, which Yinfei already is, and then maybe Binny for an attack boost. That seems like a pretty solid Bergen team right there already. I've never purposefully done Bergen, so I think it's actually Bergen and not Bergen. Whatever, get to farm some angry comments at least. I think in this case though, it really could be good because like I would take this team probably regardless if I was going for a Bergen team Yinfei. I mean, maybe not Nahida, but she gives a pretty big EM boost. So definitely not bad. Oh, <laughs> well, that's not enough crit rate without the Hunter set. Yeah, I mean, it's not amazing, but again, mainly interested to see if we can keep the stacks up. Okay, so we do have some there. Uh, I think we have two stacks right now. Um, yeah. Oh, holy hell. That was a fast Masanori, though. I wasn't expecting him dead that quick. Again, I was mainly looking at the stacks and not the damage, but there may have been something that popped off in there. All right, here we go. So we should have three stacks now unless... No, no, we definitely do have three stacks. Okay, yeah, I'm not noticing anything this this time. I'm not sure what, what I did so great last time. I do kind of have to be careful not to get Yinfei's shield so fast or she's going to negate the uh, damage. Uh, I think she has three stacks. 82k ultimate there at the end. I don't know if that's that good for... Yinfei ultimate. I still don't really play with her very often, but I mean, it seems actually pretty easy to keep up the stacks. I guess just for a break from Masanori, we'll uh, do floor nine real quick. Go to Vinny burst. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with floor nine. Everything just dies. Yeah, we don't have any stacks because all the all the burgeon is gone as well. Let's see if we can just like manually make it. Oh yeah. Oh, if we had. Okay, there we go. There the. We just got to pay attention to that. This is a little weird. We have some hydro enemies now. Yeah, I think we have all three stacks now. I couldn't really see much of that at all. And eh, just one little uh, core here. Overall, I'd say it definitely works better on bosses or at least tougher enemies. I'm not even really going to bother trying Ningguang. It'd basically be the same as Nuvalet's weapon. There aren't any like teams I can try with her that would have self-damaging stuff in there. So with that said, that's probably where I'm going to wrap it up. I think Yenfei is, is an interesting contender, at least in a Burgeon team under the right circumstances. Personally, though, that's a lot of ifs for me. So I'm probably just going to stick with keeping cash flow on uh, Risley. Purely stat wise, it seems amazing for Wanderer, at least rivaling his own. But yeah, the condition with consistently losing or regaining HP is a little bit tough. Make sure to tell me what you think though in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.